Now, for recognizing CDEs and their projects in the Metro Kuliki category, we begin again with an honorable mention, which goes to the National Trust for Community Investment Corporation and City First Bank of DC, and their American Brewery Brew House building project in Baltimore, Maryland. Built in 1887, the five-story, 140-foot tall building housed one of the tallest gravity-operated breweries in North America. Demographic and economic changes following World War II triggered the neighborhood's severe decline, and by the 1970s, East Baltimore was impoverished and the brewery was abandoned after more than 80 years of operation. The nearly $24 million rehabilitation project has been financed with a combination of public and private grant funds and state historic credits, federal historic credits, and new market tax credit equity and debt, as well as developer equity and other sources. The project's completion has generated nearly $13 million in household and business income. More than 40 people have been hired since its opening, which was in May 2009, 75% of whom are low-income persons from the community. Congratulations to City First and the National Trust on the creative use of financing tools that allowed a vacant historic building to be saved and restored and now house a not-for-profit provider of social services that serve a disadvantaged area's residents. Distinguishing itself in the Metro Kuliki category is National Development Council's HEDA New Markets and the Street Squash Project. Street Squash provides effective programming for disadvantaged inner-city youth, families, and schools through an after-school youth enrichment program that combines academic tutoring with squash instruction, community service, and one-on-one -on -one mentoring. It also provides participants with a college prep program and exposure to New York City-wide cultural events. Street Squash began its life in scattered, borrowed quarters, but it was obvious that it could accomplish so much more if it consolidated its efforts in a single space. So, Street Squash launched an extensive capital campaign that raised a significant portion of the building project's cost, but left a financing gap of $1.5 million. NDC recognized the potential to use new market tax credits to fill the financing gap, and working with investment partner Dudley Ventures TransCapital provided the project with a $7.3 million new market tax credit investment. The new street squash facility offers stability, calm, and pleasing aesthetics, and a home base, elements that are often missing in inner city youth's daily lives. NMTC Financing has helped this very successful modest program expand its reach to over 1,000 students. And street squash participants have experienced 100% high school graduation rates, 100% college articulation rates, 85% of its alumni have also either completed or on track to complete a post-secondary degree. Congratulations to Street Squash and to the National Development Council for this unique program and for providing a real and concrete benefit to its community.